Now just give God a praise for our praise team. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Go ahead, before I even stepped, I'm doing this. 
And every now and then we have to understand, beloved, we have all stood in a dark room. We've all stood in a dark situation. Walk with me. We've all been in dark and darker and darker circumstances. Let me just say it like this, beloved. Even when I turned on the light myself, walk with me, and all of a sudden when I turned on the light and I decided to step into the situation, step into the room, all of a sudden the light bulb would just bust. Does that happen to somebody even on today, beloved? You don't know, you don't change the life of yourself. But all of a sudden, that light, the filament went out. Whatever took place in that room, and you know you turned the switch on. Uh, the room got dark, and isn't it amazing how it just messes with your natural senses? Isn't it amazing how in the midst of what it looks like in the physical God allows you to understand the light is still on. The light is on in your life and God wants to encourage you because whatever was blinding yesterday, whatever you going through in the month of July, whatever it looked like, God has come along to give you encouragement. He's come along to let you know you don't have to be in the dark. You don't have to be in those situations that keep you in the dark. You don't have to be in those circumstances that keeps you in dark situations. Yeah. Why, beloved? Because the text comes and helps you on today. The word of God, the living word of God has come along to help you on today. Why? Because the light is on in your life. Uh, let me just say it like this. Let me unpack it like this. The light was always on. Amen. You just needed an opportunity to understand that God allows you to see the light. And every now and then we go through those dark mazes of life. Have you ever gone through a maze at the amusement park, beloved? And every time you go through the maze, you try to figure out how to get out. And ain't that just like those dark situations? Think about it, beloved. Ain't that just like those dark situations in our lives? And yeah. when we understand, when we get to the amusement park of life, God is directing us on today. He's allowing us to understand this living word has come alive and has come to guide you yeah. out of the maze of your life. And the maze is another, another word of just saying it was dark in the dark situation. Mm. And sometimes we got to understand, beloved, a flashlight won't help. Mm. All right. Uh, I tried to buy one of those flashlights that you put on your head and you and you tap it and it lights up and you're walking around and all of a sudden, <laughs> next thing I know, ain't this just like God? The, the thing just, I get into the closet and it starts blinking. <laughs> And ain't that just like God, he'll go ahead and say, okay, you trying to do it yourself again. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm talking to somebody because you got to understand the light is on. The light is on in your life, but God wants to encourage you to let you know, right. I am the light. Yeah. And so God allows us to understand no matter what it looks like, let me say it like this, and this is for the young folk. You know every time, and I did it myself, I'm going to go ahead and raise my hand. I ain't, I'm going to tell on myself because I know what God did when I was a little puppy. And every time I said this, I heard my folks say it's time to go to bed. I said, can you leave the light on? <laughs> I'll give you all a minute. And all of a sudden, you, all of a sudden you, you see, where does the night, night light come from? We call it a night light. But it's a light. And all of a sudden, you got to understand that light stays on until you fall asleep. I'm trying to walk with you right now. And so, isn't that a blessing when you lay your kids down to sleep? When you lay them down to sleep, you can hug on them. You can do all that. But that ain't enough. They need the light on. I know I did. I know I did. And it's that same light that as you continue to grow and become adults and teenagers,
teenagers, uh, no matter what it looks like, that light in the midst of a dark situation, maybe there was a test for you to get a promotion. Uh, the light is still on, y'all. But you need his light. You got to call on his light. You got to call on his marvelous light. You need him to let you know to pass. Maybe there was something in the in the in the gym class. Maybe it was something uh, during education because you know the young folk get ready to go back to school. Wasn't that a quick summer? That summer happened real fast, and we discover, man, I just got my A's and B's from last year. Y'all know you got A's and B's. <laughs> So now I get promoted and get ready for the next. Mm. And it wasn't even a whole month. Mm. I ain't even been on vacation yet. Mm. And so the light is still on. Why? Because God has blessed you. He's allowed you to understand through all the circumstances of that last season, through all the darkness of that last season, I'm encouraged because they didn't turn the TV on. I'm encouraged because I didn't get on punishment. Mm. I'm encouraged because I didn't fail the classes of life. Mm. I'm encouraged because I know he walked me through every situation of life. Yeah. Yeah. And so God lets us know even through those situations of life, he shows us the light is on because it's here. The light is on for healing. Maybe, maybe somebody needed to hear this right now. The light is on for healing because, beloved, no matter what it looks like, God allows us to understand. I done put away some things in my life. And, and so now I have to become what God allowed me to be. And he allows me to understand in the midst of what he's talking about today, Christ is the only light. And, and when that darkness comes, isn't it a joy to know that God has led me to him? God has allowed me to see who he is in my life. He has allowed me to see that he shines through every situation. He shines through my circumstances. He shines when I get to the grocery store. Watch this. You might not have had a penny in your pocket. But all of a sudden, you forgot your, your wallet. You forgot something. And don't you know, in the midst, it happened to me at McDonald's. It happens to me at Burger King. I don't know why. And all of a sudden, the person at the window says, uh, this is already paid for. That's because the light is on in your mind. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and so God is saying, in, in the midst of you knowing that you're going through a dark situation. You're trying to take care of some things and God inhabit your praises. Yeah. Oh, every now and then the praise ain't always right up here. Yeah. The praise ain't always in church. And yeah. sometimes you got yeah. to know, beloved, yeah. why you was in the line at Wendy's. Yeah. Why you was over there at Mickey D's. Yeah. <laughs> your praise. Oh, uh, let me help the young folks. While you was waiting for that report card, you didn't want to bring at the house. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it happened to me. Oh, yeah. Many semesters. <laughs> Woo! It's called leather, y'all. Yeah. Know. You better believe it. But sure enough. That was the old days. They, they got they got CPS now, so <laughs> I don't have to worry about all that stuff now. They got all kind of uh, stuff now. That, that, oh, it's child protective service. That's what it is. Yeah, yep. they, what none of that back then. You better hide that report card. <laughs> oh, please. And, and so the blessing comes when you realize what did I do this? And all of a sudden you see that when you thought it was dark, God showed up. Mm -hmm. and, and let me say it like this. Beloved, 
God will dwell in places he is loved, he is wanted, and he is accepted. Amen. Amen. And I know somebody prayed for me. Yeah. Amen. Um, let me say it like yeah. this. We get ready to go back to school. We get ready to, and, and I know yeah. somebody had their hand on me. Somebody loved on me. And I ain't talking about because I was always in the dark. I'm not talking about because I was, it's because the good thing. Of God kept coming in my life. I'm talking to somebody today. God wants you to understand. Somebody prayed for you. Yeah. And even then you understand. You might not know it in the natural sense. The light is on. You might not know it because you ain't going to step into that dark room. I don't, I don't care. I, I might have been afraid of the dark. Uh, but that's all right. Ain't nothing wrong with it. That's all right. But God allowed me to understand. Well, as I got older, I started getting a little muscle. I started getting a little strong. And I said, feeling in the natural. And I said, well, if I'm going to fight these enemies, uh, come on with it. And God would say, okay. God got a sense of humor here. He'll come along and let you flick the light. He'll come on and let you go ahead and turn that light on. It worked a real good, ain't it? Because you turned it on, didn't you? Watch this. Boop! Now what you gonna do on the dog? And what God is saying, y'all, it don't matter what you try to turn on. It don't matter how you try to do it. You got to understand, I'm your light. I'm your pathway. I have made a way for you. Mm -hmm. And so God, he allows us to understand, I will dwell where you love me. Mm. I will go wherever you need me to be. Mm. But you got to love on me. Can you love on me today? Can you love on me? Mm -hmm. The light is on in your life. Because I'm in your life. Yeah. And maybe it was my dear who came along Maybe it was the ones even before the generations I never knew. Mm -hmm. And so your blessing comes when you least express it. Your yeah. blessing comes when you least realize it. And so now we start saying, okay, Lord, I thank you for the light in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. I thank you for the light that kept me up all night. And then eventually put me to sleep because you did it, Lord. Yeah. You put a hedge of protection around me. You allowed me to understand, had it not been for the Lord on, the, on my side. So God comes along and lets you know. I want to remind all of you God has come to awaken you and remind you today who He really is. Even when we get ready to go back into this next season, God is awakening you. God is reminding you, your midnights are going to turn today. Yeah. He's reminding you, your delight is in God. Uh -huh. He's reminding you, your problem can only be solved by God. Yeah. And so yeah. that allows me to understand, beloved, the light is on. Yeah. His light is on. His in your life mm -hmm. because you've been through some problems in your life. You've been through those times when you couldn't delight in nothing else yeah. but yourself. Yeah. And God says, I got you. Yeah. I got you because I love you. Can you love on me today? Can you, can you just love on me? Let your light shine mm -hmm. because I'm shining in you. We sing the song, Jesus is the light yeah. that shines in me. Why? Because he shows up. He shows up every day. He shows up when I go through situations. He shows up yeah. when I see darkness, which is despair. Yeah. He shows up when I see the light gets dim. Yeah. God says, go ahead, I got you. I'm going to flip the switch. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. And so all of a sudden we discover that God wants us to understand. He's saying that I'm in the text because, because he allows us to say what Paul is telling us. And God wants to go ahead and 
Let's go ahead and get the vacuum cleaner ready. And every now and then we need to turn the vacuum of life on. And that vacuum comes and cleans up all the particles. I talked about the filters of, of the air conditioners last week. And so God says, look, if that's not enough, I'll give you the vacuum cleaner that you need yeah. that will clean up yeah. and renew. Huh. Mm. Every now and then, we just need a, we don't need a new fall. We just need a new vacuum. We just need a new situation that will bless us. We need to understand God will take us out of the darkness yeah. into the marvelous light. But not only that, beloved, God is also motivating. Mm. The light is on because you're motivating. Not only because you got to understand, you have the ability of healing in your life. Why? Because the light of the Lord is in you. You got to understand, yeah. God has blessed you. Yeah. And so, why do I need to do this, Lord? Because it's not about you anymore. Right. It's never about you. I sent generations before you. I sent generation after generation after generation before you. So eventually you can understand who you really are. <laughs> It ain't that just like us right now in the midst of the church. The church is being blessed. Why? Because we're getting stronger and stronger and stronger. So even as I shared on a couple weeks ago, your apps, your apps are a part of who you are now. You, you can't do anything else without them. So, so God comes along and says, well, I'll go even further. You need the apps of life because even in, the, in this 21st century, things are changing. But God doesn't change. Amen. He doesn't change. Yeah. But you have to know things are changing. So the light doesn't change. The generations that prayed over you never change. The situations that's going over you does not change. What changes is you. Uh, let me say yeah. it like this, beloved. Yeah. You change because you woke up. You change because you was awakened not by yourself. You was awakened by the light. The light of the Lord, something came over you. Uh, y'all know y'all sing the song, a change has come over me. Oh, uh, can I go there for a minute? Can I just stop by? Can I park there for a minute? A uh, change. I'm right there in the text. The light was always on. Uh, but you went through some dark situations. Can I preach this for a minute? You've been through. Uh, some devastating situation you've been through, but a change came over you. Uh, let me just unpack it this way. Even before you came to faith, Christian, a change came over you. You was woke up by Jesus. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, and that's for all of y'all. Y'all came and found this little bitty church on the side of the road. All right. Uh, it couldn't have been because of me. Amen. Uh, I'm just a vessel, but it was because yeah. uh, he got you up this morning. Yeah. It was because yeah. uh, he woke you up this morning. And you was awakened by the light. Oh, that marvelous life. Oh, when they do it, Jesus will get you up. Yeah. Uh, through some awkward situations, he'll get you up. Yeah. Uh, through some messed up situations, he'll get you up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, through some natural situations, yeah. you couldn't have made it to faith Christian without him. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm talking to all y'all on the internet because I know everybody here in the physical church understand the light is on in 
and a wife that led them to the church on the side of the road. And all of a sudden you discover, yes, I got healing because of the might that's in me. I got, I got. Yeah, I got. Woo! And, and so now I can go even further. Can you go further, Brother Pastor? And now that healing comes because of your motivating. Uh, let me say it like this. The Lord woke me up this morning. I ain't even talking about the first lady. I'm talking about me. Yeah. He got me up this morning. And I, I needed something. And I needed to understand. Watch this. I'm right there. He lets us know I'm an offspring of the life. Mm. Oh, let me unpack this. I'm an offspring of the light who called me out of the darkness. Oh, let me see. I'll give you a second. All of us who came to the light understand you are the offspring. Yeah. You are the ones like Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Mm -hmm. You are the ones who came yeah. that allows us to understand I'm just a connection. Mm -hmm. I'm just a part of the vine. Yeah. Uh, and so I understand had it not been for Jesus, I understand that I if I confess all my sins and, and he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins yeah. and cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Yeah. And so all of a sudden I say, I'm saying, wow, did I do that? I, I, no, you didn't do it. In the midst of it, turning on the light, God brought the light in you. Mm. Uh, in the midst of understanding that no flashlight can help you, but his light comes along in your life. His light comes along because he wants to dwell with you. He wants to be with you. And all of a sudden we discover the difference between what the enemy wants and what God wants. And all of a sudden you start discovering, oh, Lord, I want to be with you. I want to love on you. I, I know I've gone through some dark situations. I've been through some struggles, but you've been cleansing me. Uh, you've been cleaning me up. You, you've, been, you've been taking care of the, the vacuum of heaven. has come along and the filters of heaven has come along and he says, I am the door. Uh, if anyone enters, he shall be saved. Yeah. God allows us to understand. Beloved, they prayed for you. Yeah. You might have never seen your family, but they prayed for you. You might not have ever seen yeah. Uh, yeah. what those generations have come, and he says he's a generational God, uh -huh. and all of a sudden we discover uh, the wonderful working powers. Uh, isn't it wonderful how the power of God works through you? Yeah. God doesn't want to do anything without you. Right. So his light is on in your life. You have to understand God doesn't want to do nothing. He could do it all. He could It is so. Yeah. But he said, no. I want the light to shine in you and you and you and you. And, and I want y'all to inhabit my praises. I want y'all to lift up my name. I want y'all to know how it not for who I am. Yeah. So he comes along and he lets us know Oh, there's no shame in who I am in you. There's no shame in knowing that the light, the light of the world, he lets us know you are illuminating others. Yeah. I'm going to park right here, beloved. Yeah. 
Because you understand healing and motivating. But now you've got to see how you are illuminating. And beloved, he lets us know, beloved, he says, take my yoke upon you and learn of me. And that's what's so important, beloved, because when you understand in the midst of that text, God allows us to understand we just like all that oxen. And in the midst of that oxen, it allows us to understand I'm going to put this yoke this, this, this big old heavy wooden so I can let you understand that I can steer you yeah. and guide you through all the fields of life. And ain't that just like when you train up a child the way they should go? Ain't that just like when you know Jesus and you're going to raise up a family and you start praying for them? Yeah. Ain't that just like when you leave the light on for them? Ain't that just yeah. like understanding? Yeah. Uh, when you see the love of God because they start asking you questions. Yeah. You start understanding. It ain't like the same old questions they used to ask. All right, all right. Uh, and all of a sudden, uh, you don't have to worry about them because they ain't thirsty no more. Because they're quenching for the love of God. And now all of a sudden you see that they they delight in the Lord. Oh, Y'all can't hear me. Yeah. And God is saying, God is allowing us to understand that healing came from you. Mm. Amen. Allowing us to understand they're not hungering anymore for the things of the world. Why? Because the hunger is being satisfied. Yeah. Uh, because you're motivating them. You're motivating in that. And the light is on. The light is on, beloved, because they're starting to begin. Even when this new season comes, oh, they're going to come into that, that new education. They're going to come in and they're going to feel the blessings of the Lord. And I said, I'm ready for my A's and B's. I'm speaking in the, in the future. And I'm ready because there ain't going to be no problems coming up. In this new season of education, I'm ready because I'm not thirsting for Jesus. I'm ready because I'm not hungering for heaven. I'm ready because, Lord, every time you lay me down to sleep, I pray to God my soul will keep. I'm ready. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, my help is coming because I understand Christ. Uh, yeah. His light is on in my life. Does anyone hear yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. His light is on because I I know how you bless me because the healing of the Lord is in me. I'm blessed because the motivation on, of God is in me. I'm blessed because I'm illuminating others and all of a sudden what the enemy tried to destroy, watch this, what the enemy Try to tell God came and remade you. Oh, he put you back on the wheel. Somebody needs to know this. He put the youth back on the wheel of life. He put them back on the potter's clay. And all of a sudden, now they got the apps. All right. All of a sudden, they can tell you. Uh, what you want to know? I give you scripture. <laughs> and all of a sudden, now they, they don't have to hide no more because it's in the apps. Uh, everybody playing the games, they can play too, but it's still in the apps. And when they get a thought about Jesus, they can do it for themselves. <laughs> and that's the joy of the Lord because we understand, beloved. We understand. I see your sister Victoria. I see your Latanya. I see all of you, and all of a sudden, God comes along and says, you know what? This ain't even good enough. I'm going to go even better. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go even for the fact that God has come along and said, if you could just say hallelujah, if you can say and, and train them up, and they start seeing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
when they unpack it this way. You might not have thought your children was watching. But you was up there saying hallelujah. And you wasn't talking to nobody. But even though they was looking around the corner and the mic was on and everything. And, but yet and still you was just saying hallelujah. Music wasn't even playing nothing. And they start realizing, you know what? I can do that too. Uh, in other words, now you can see in the dark. <laughs> Let me unpack it this way. Even though you can see in the natural, the light is on. You can see in the dark. You can see in dark places. You can see around the stumbling places. You can see around the suffering places. You can see around the struggling places. Why? Because you ain't striving for Jesus anymore. Why? Because you singing just like Jesus. You calling on the name of Jesus. You start singing in your own house. I bet you some of you didn't know you could sing. <laughs> I ain't got to be in your house. I know what the spirit tells. And so the light is on in your life as you get ready to go to this new season. As you get ready to go back to school. Don't you know you singing praises to God even while you in church right now? Because God will plant a seed. Yeah. Uh, and I'm planting seed right now. I'm just I'm just a fruit inspector. <laughs> I got my pouch right here. I plant seed all on these you. I'm throwing seed wherever it lands. And I know it's on fertile ground. I got to know that God will ignite the faith in you. God will ignite it because in the midst of who he is, don't you know he'll start a fire? It only takes one man. Uh, so God will come along in your life. Uh, and no matter how high the mountain is, God will say, climb it. Yeah. Uh, climb that mountain. I need you to climb it right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. No matter what it looks like, he can turn a sinner into a saint. All right. I want to tell that to the young folk. Don't let them young kids out there turn you into something you ain't. All right. Uh, Oh, uh, let me just unpack it this way. Don't you know the waters of your life are just like the Red Sea? And God will separate you from the sinners. All right. Uh, and so God allows you to understand you can see in the dark. You can just give them a praise because in the name of Jesus, I call it. Yeah. Uh, because God has allowed you to understand through any storm. All you got to do is shout. Thank you, Jesus. Just shout through the struggles. Just shout when the teacher tries to think about giving you an F this season. Just shout. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I got an A coming. Just shout. Yeah. I'll take a B. Just shout yeah. in the name of Jesus. But I ain't receiving that F. I ain't receiving it in the name of Jesus. Why? Because Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord of my life. Yeah. You can't give me what Jesus wasn't going to do. And all of a sudden, we understand through sickness, through sin, through the storms of life. Don't you know the young folk are listening right now? Oh, we understand. We understand. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Why? Because the light is on. Yeah. And we have to understand for them to watch this and I'm done. People you want still don't recognize you. I'm talking to young folks. Because y'all adults know this. But people you want to Matter of fact, your spiritual complexion has changed in your natural way. Let me break.
break that down. Because people you just going to meet, they're going to line up to meet you. Uh, thank you, Sister Batania. I appreciate it. Ain't nothing but the glory of God. Yeah. People, let me say that again. Mm -hmm. People you once knew don't recognize you, right. especially when you go back to school. Yeah, yeah. They say, man, why is there such a glow? Mm -hmm. Why yeah. is there such a halo? Yeah. Why is there such a different complexion? God inhabits the praises of his people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, watch this. Let me say it even better. You, you, I'm going to say it in my own way. You are beautiful yeah. and wonderfully made. Yeah. That's for the young girl and the boy. Because you handsome. Mm -hmm. And wonderfully made. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and so all of a sudden, watch this. You don't have to worry about the old way. Uh -huh. New people are waiting to meet you. Oh, uh, let me just flip it like this and I'm done. Because when you look at it, as I said in the beginning, that light switch I kept trying to turn on, I already had a switch from God. I had the light of Jesus in me. Yeah. And so we discover Christ's light is on. And it was always on yeah. in my life. So as, if you flip that eternal switch yourself, don't you know if you called his name, it would have came on? Yeah. If you called his name through all the tragedies and destruction, it would have came on? If you would have called his name, but I'm teaching you now, I'm, I'm preaching to somebody today, because yeah. somebody's going to need that in their future situation. Yeah. Somebody's yeah. going to need that because he's wrapped you up in his loving arms. Yeah. He's allowed you to let you see. Uh, just tell your neighbor, TikTok. 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 All you got to do is just flip the switch, y'all. Tick tock, flip the switch. And all of a sudden, what happens? You know Christ is in your life. You know somebody called on you because of who you are. You are a child of God. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Yeah. Don't you take that back. You can't take it back. Right. Because I love you that much. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't care how much you don't like me, but I love you. Let's <laughs> flip the switch, y'all. The light is on. Yeah. Let's call on his name. He is the switch. Mm -hmm. He is the switch. Let Christ light on in your life. Let his light. Amen. We understand we're getting ready. I, I, I asked the first lady, I said, okay, keep me up to date. And, and I needed to know, when are we at with the school? And she said, you know, we got a couple weeks. I said, what? So, I'm bringing this message to prepare the young folk. I'm bringing this message. And this is for everybody. So, guys, you can't go there as we sang the song. Don't let your burdens bring you down. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Don't let your burdens. Yeah. Don't let nobody transfer nothing. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Let your light shine. Mm -hmm. Because you the light of the world because God will not do nothing without you. Mm. Woo. Yeah. He won't do anything without you. Huh? Yeah. Oh. So that's why it's 
it's important to understand what Calvary is yeah. in your life. Because if I'm done, that's enough for this week. Mm. I think I only got one more week, so I got to bring it next week mm. for these young folks. Amen. I mean, I'm not sad they're going back to school. Mm -hmm. I'm just jacked up about it. <laughs> right. And, and so we got to pour into them. Y'all hear me? Amen. Amen. We got to pour into them as much as possible. Amen. So here the motivation and the movement. Is in there. The seed is planted. Amen. And, the name of Jesus. And, and so, what that means, I don't know. But I do know the light is on. Amen. Is everyone with me? Amen. When you call on his name, Amen. the light is on. He did that in Calvary, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. He turned the light on for you. Yes, he did. <laughs> he turned it on for you. That you may have life yeah. and life everlasting. He tied it all. Yeah. Oh. Uh, when you thought you was in a dark situation, then in the blessing, he just flipped the switch. Yeah. He said, Oh, yeah. I done did it. Yeah. I conquered death. Yeah. I done did everything you needed me to do in the natural. Mm -hmm. So here I come and bring the Holy Spirit while you're at it. So others may understand their gifts. Mm -hmm. So others understand it. What that means. And so now you're motivating mm -hmm. others to illuminate mm -hmm. others. So mothers, every head bowed in the heart of a good God I have come praise. Today is your day. Amen. Today somebody needs to know that the invitation is extended because the light has always been on in your life. The invitation is extended because of who God is in your life. It's extended because God wants you to understand. Choose this day who you will serve. Let it be Christ, y'all. Let it be Christ. Maybe somebody on the internet right now never knew that the light of Jesus is on in their life right now. Maybe somebody on the internet right now didn't know that Christ, his light, he is the light. He is the light. And he chose to use us. He chose to let us have a right to the tree of life. He chose to let us know that I came to make a way out of nowhere. He chose that we may understand the new Eden, the new Jerusalem, our new glorified bodies through Christ Jesus. He lets us know the light is on and he's come to live in your heart. He's here right now. Oh, uh, the burdens, just tell your neighbor, the burdens are gone. They are gone right now. I know what God can do. Oh, uh, let us pray. I just need somebody to repeat after me. Heavenly Father, I thank you for Jesus Christ being the light of the world. The light in my life. You live because you died. And I accept you as my Lord and risen Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Give God a hand clap of praise. <laughs> Woo! I thank God for I see you. I see some of our members on, online. I thank you all. God bless you. God bless you. We love you. This is what it's about right here. The new church, whether we physical or online, we still one body, one Lord. One faith, one baptism. So enjoy your week with God rather than without Him. Amen.